Burger King, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Pizza Hut, Domino's, and if you are American, Taco Bell, Wendy's. These are all takeaway places, fast food restaurants. And then there is the king, the provider of the Wi-Fi service. It's McDonald's, everyone. Yeah. And uh, that's exactly where this host was. Of course, this is Dombey Blue coming at you with another video. And uh, this is a 65 and 4 gameplay on the map WMD on a constant 2 bar with a little bit of 1 bar. And uh, it was a goddamn awful. And see, the Legacy HD is actually uh, got on my friends list. And he'd gone down to McDonald's, he'd, um, he'd walked in, he was considering getting a Happy Meal, but then he decided he was going to be a fucking man. He got himself a Big Mac. And they said, do you, want, do you want fries? Of course I want fries. I want the whole meal. And what drink do you want? They said, do you want some Coke? No, no, I'm going to be a man. I want some strawberry milkshake. So he went and sat down. And he set all his shit up. He, put, he set his, um, his TV and his PS3. He got all his shit together. And he sat down and played. And uh, he got host, which kind of sucks. So <laughs> this is probably one of the worst connections I've ever seen that hasn't been kicked. Because um, this, this guy, uh, everyone, we're playing. They're Americans on the other team, I'm sure. And... I don't even know if this guy's American, but it was terrible. Oh, oh, a three bar there. How awesome. But, uh, <laughs> so yeah, it was a uh, pretty bad two bar. McDonald's connection for the win, what can I say? So as you can see, guys, I've been using different weapons uh, at the moment. Uh, it's the MP5 in this game. MP5 is not a bad gun, especially if you, like, whack extender mags on it, or you whack, um... The, the rapid fire, the rapid fire is good, but avoid the silencer because it's tempting to think, oh, silencer, you know, UMP silence from Modern Fed 2, you know. Um, but the submachine guns already are quite weak at long range, as they should be. That's how submachine guns should be. Like, if you put as even a silencer on the 74U, it's not going to find you any success. The guns you want to stick silencers on and uh, are guns like the Galil, the Famous does well. Um, the Enfield does surprisingly well with a silencer, believe it or not. And uh, the commando does is very successful with silencer. Avoid the M16. Um, Wings put a video up saying how the M M16 is still a two burst kill with a silencer. But it just feels weaker to me. It just it doesn't it doesn't work as well. It takes an extra bullet, which can save your life if you if you have like the red dot sight. And also, if you if you use the silencer, you've got to use the rubbish iron sights. And, and to be honest, they're pretty poor. So I'd rather stick with like a red dot sight. Of course, yeah, and uh, of course you can use the um, warlord perk, but there are so uh, there are. Uh, I know I've gone on a little bit too much about the M16 here, but there are more be there are better perks for a uh, slight hand gives you that edge. Obviously, you get the first hit because you want the first hit with a free burst. If you get hit and flinch, then uh, you're pretty much done. And which is why Harden Pro is good because Harden Pro you, you can stay on target with your free round burst, and also steady aim is good because the M16 suffers at close range. And so, um, that's definitely a good thing. And, uh, you need to see me. I'm just one bar and two bar. And it's, it's terrible, this connection. It really, it's really embarrassing. Um, but whatever. So, uh, you, yeah, guys, if you want to play with me, um, mainly I've been playing on the PS3 at the moment. And, uh, it's my gamer tag name, PSN name, is, uh, <laughs> It's CTF with two underscores. Um, it's two cap. It's CTF which are capitals, and then underscores. So you guys gonna have to go add me. So next, guys, I want to ask you what game mode you wanna see? Cause uh, I've been playing a lot of headquarters on the PS3. Cause I'm trying to rank up, and I'm fourth prestige at the moment. But you guys will uh, find out what my stats and are when I show my combat record soon on my uh, CTF account. And uh, yeah, so. Basically, I play like headquarters because it's easy to get a team together. And uh, in this game, I'm playing with a team as well, I believe. I'm playing with Fozzy121, ITFC101, the Legacy HQ actually got host somehow on his McDonald's connection, as I mentioned earlier. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's me getting a lot of points. That's what I want. But if, it, if in terms of game time, it, it, they're nine, ten-minute games. They can be fifteen-minute games because uh, our teams are like to like have two hundred and thirty points and then wait and c keep killing them. Say we've got like some more kill streaks spare. We're like, ah, oh, don't end it yet because we've got our kill streaks to call in. This wasn't one of them games. I don't think. I think we ended it in like nine minutes. And um, yeah. So, what do you want to see me play? Because I used to be a huge TDM player, but the kind of ghost kind of ruined that. But in Modern Warfare 2, and that I was a domination player and. 
and that kind of leads me on to the next next topic, which is why where are you guys on the leaderboards, and what what would you deem acceptable? Because in uh, on my CTF account, um, I think I'm hundredth in the world this week, sixtieth this month, and three hundredth full time. And on Xbox, I'm like eight hundredth in the world all time for the headquarters. And or maybe it was like 1500. From, but in TDM for he Xbox, because I used to play a lot of uh, TDM on Xbox, I was uh, like a 4 430 score per minute or something. Um, and I was 800 from the world all time, something like that. And I was wondering, uh, what do you guys, what do you guys think of that? Because I've, I've only ever touched the, the elite, the top 10, uh, a few times, and that was when in sabotage, um, I was right, right up there. Um, I'm, I'm actually uh, seven. I was I was 70th in the world for sabotage. Recently gone down to about 120th in the world for sabotage. And also um, in CTF in capture the flag. Not my game tag, but uh, in capture the flag, I was at 1.6th in the world uh, um, weekly, of course. But I, I did. I have hit the top, but I've never managed to do it in like a domination or a headquarters. So I was wondering if um, what have you guys hit? What where do you averagely? Where do you average out? Where, where, where are you ranked in the world? Because I'm interested. And uh, I, I always used to think that you could find out who was where by like going by and find out how many people there were by going to the top of the list, then flicking up and you could see the bottom. But they have like minus points. So I would like to. Uh, it'd be cool to find out how many people are actually in them leaderboards. And so you can kind of judge where you are. So, are you at the age of 15 or 16? Did you take exams throughout the past two years? Well,. If you live in England, you're about to get your results tomorrow. You're probably bricking it. <laughs> I thought that was cool. That was like that was like cool little intro thing in the middle of a video. That's that's kind of badass. But uh, yes, we get our GCSE results tomorrow. Kind of, I'm really excited about getting them to be honest. Um, because you know, been waiting for this moment for a while, and it's a big weight off your shoulders when you finally do get the results, no matter what they are. And uh, I'm sure everyone's put 110 percent in, and uh, yeah, so. So basically, this is basically like an apology because tomorrow I won't be able to make any videos because I'll be grounded for getting too many Fs. So <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the problem right now. Yeah. Mm. Hope I didn't get a U, then I'll never be. They'll probably sell my Xbox and my PlayStation. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> no. So uh, you guys, make sure you got to subscribe because. Uh, you know, I keep uploading regularly, and uh, I'm sure I won't get too many Fs. So tomorrow I'll be I'll be uploading as as usual, and uh, probably not telling you my results because there'll be too many Fs. But you know, it's all good. So all good. And the final topic of the day is something that, that really bugged me when I watched one of the films. I can't remember what it was. It was probably like Harry Potter 9000, and uh, I was watching it with my cousin ITFC 101, and. Uh, he kind of knows what's going on. No, I don't really. I just kind of watched the film, and uh, basically they went up to the building, and there's like Harry and his crew, and uh, they done some spell thing, and they the wall like separated, and it was a whole building, and it moved to reveal a bit of wall in the middle that they you know it was a house or whatever, and they walked into it. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And in the windows you could see people, and uh, and I said. Oh, how come the people don't know they're moving? And he said, oh, it's because there's a spell that means that they don't know. And I just think that is the biggest cop-out of all time. And it pisses me off. But, uh, <laughs> I don't really have anywhere else to go with that. It's just the kind of thing that, like, it's like saying, um, oh, I don't have an example here. I really should have brought one with me. Damn. Ah. Anyways. Oh, <laughs> Anyways, in, uh, and another thing that uh, annoyed me is that in Back to the Future, right, in the first one, surely the Doc would remember Marty going back to him and would have built the time machine before, then, and then not have had the problem because he would have known how to build it before and he would have met Marty before, but Marty wouldn't have known. And he wouldn't have got shot, but then he would have got shot, but he wouldn't have. And Marty wouldn't have gone back in time, and everyone would have lived happy ever after. So, you guys, if you like this video, please give it a like. It helps me out a lot, and I'll see you uh, next time.
So yeah guys, if you made it this far, maybe I earned a like from you guys, maybe even a favour, maybe you thought the video was really good, and uh, I put a little bit of effort into it, I thought the uh, gameplay was pretty funny at times. And I cut out the chopper gun around, and leave in the uh, tell me in the comments if you thought that was good or not, because I normally just speed it up so you can kind of see how much rapage it did. But my chopper gun did pretty well, If you, in case you're wondering. <laughs> and um, So yeah, maybe I earned a like. Uh, if, you've, if you're new to my channel, and uh, you, this is the first video you've seen of me, uh, then please... Um, if you made it this far at least, maybe you enjoyed it. Go check out some of my other videos and uh, subscribe it means a lot. And uh, you know, I'm try I'm putting a lot of effort into these videos. I'm not some little squeaker who does it on the weekends. You know, I am trying to be entertaining for you guys. So uh, yeah, final score. Yeah, uh, as I'll say again, final score was 65 to four. We're using the MP5. Um, picked up a, bit, a few different weapons and uh, yeah.